This is Fusion New and I'm Klaus. So today we're going to have a very brief look at how Fusion works and the basics so it's easier to understand and how notes are working in general. So if you want to make these episodes even better, please write down below in the comments section what you want me to make an effect of and what you want me to learn. Because as you know, I don't know Fusion that well, but I will. Anyway, let's get right to it. Welcome to Fusion Noob. So in this first episode, we will have a quick look at the interface of Fusion. So as you see right now, we are in Fusion and nothing is going on here. That's because we do not have a clip in our timeline. So we need to go back to the editing tab in DaVinci Resolve 15. And let's take this clip here, drag that down, and then go back to Fusion. And as you will see right here, we have here our media input and our media output. So if we disconnect the, this by just by dragging this, we have nothing because there is no connection. So we'll just quickly connect those again. So first off, the, as you see up here, we have uh, two viewers. It's actually kind of like in the editing portion of the Vinci Resolve. The difference is it's not like the source monitor and the view monitor. You can actually swivel around like you want. So if you want to have, for instance, um, our input to be up here, you can just drag it or you can push one. Or if you want to have it at, um, at two, you can just push and it will be there down here and the same goes for this this is what this indicator is actually this is what number of screen up here you are watching the clip in you can see that in this little dot here so let's just quickly go through this so this is where you will have all your effects they'll live inside right here so you can imagine that you can start by stacking a lot of effects in and then connecting them together but we'll get back to that very soon so up here we have the most common tools being like backgrounds and text and blurs and whatnot and merge tools and here we have some shape tools or masking tools and this is the where you can do particles the most common particle effects right here and here we have all the 3D stuff, which we'll look into a little bit later. So as you'll see, or as you, if we highlight a clip, we can go to the inspector and we'll have, there's no effects uh, applied, so we don't really have anything to show here. But like in the editing tab, this is where you can change stuff in the inspector. And you also have a metadata tab where you can have all this nerdy stuff going on. I'm not so nerdy, so not uh, according to metadata at least um, and then we have the keyframes here and here we can edit keyframes again we'll come back to that later and we have the spline editor here which is also to make smoother transitions between uh, the, our different effects we'll get into that again and then of course we have our notes which we can toggle on and off and now they disappeared because they're here also, if you get lost uh, <laughs> down here, by the way, you have this window here, and then you can you can drag around uh, in in all this to find your notes. So we'll just drag those back here again, and then of course we also have the the clips, which is like in the color tab. You can see the all your clips in your timeline. I only have one clip, so that's why it's only one. And then you can kind of go from clip to clip very fast and do the effects if needed so i'll toggle those off then of course we have the effects library and this is where we have all our effects down here so we can have a lot of 3d effects blur and color and whatnot and then the media pool as in all the other tabs so now we have a media pool and we can see all our media pool stuff here and then again if you want to change the view of things we can toggle it on and off here that is basically how the layout 
are in fusion. So let's try to do something, because I believe that is what we are supposed to do, to learn something. So let's just, um, the thing is, what you can do, for instance, if you take a blur, if you drag an effect down and it's, it will highlight the, with the, here on the line, you can actually just put it right in. So now, as you see, I put in a blur effect, but you can't see anything, and that's because we're not displaying this effect. So if we push one, we have our effect, and we can then highlight the blur, go to the inspector, and then we can have some Gaussian blur, and then, then we can kind of, you see, increase that. And if we want to do like a quick animation, we can we can just hit the keyframe and then go over here. And then on the arrow keys, we can just go some frames. Let's go to frame 10, for instance. And, and then we just do drag it back. And then we have already now done a quick animation in Fusion. So, but that's that's the easy part, right? Just to drag them in as long as it works. So let's just delete that. So let's say we'll want to use a text and we'll drag that in. So how do we actually connect this thing? It's because we need to, it's like uh, in Photoshop, you would, it will be layers, so it will be on top of each other and it will, but uh, notes doesn't work like that. So you have to combine the notes together. So the way you would combine that would be to use a merge node. So you can either take a merge node from here, or you can uh, hit control space, and you'll have this um, searchable effect thing, and then you can go, and then we have some the merge here, and, and we can say, okay. And then we have the merge tool here, and we'll just say, okay. So that's two ways of doing it, but I think as long as we have them, the icons, you can just drag them. Anyway. How this works is we'll just kill this one. Um, so our media needs to go into the merge because we want to put something in between. And it then goes to the output here. And then we have our text tool and we want to drag that in here. So if we go on the text tool and push, for instance, one, we have nothing because we haven't written anything. So let's write something. Jump. Wow, creative. Okay, and then of course we are here in in our tools here in our inspector, and we can change the font to something else. Let's say let's do to this font, and we can change the color. Let's say we want something. Something like yellowish. And we also want to increase the scale. Like that. And then let's do some, some a quick animation on on this one. So for instance we can Oh, let's okay. Let's um, let's try to do um, a different animation. So let's start by pushing in the uh, a, a J, and then just hit the keyframe, and then go down to the editor, and then let's go four frames, and go back, and then we'll take the next letter, and we'll jump back. So let's see. Four frames, and the exact same thing again. Go down, so you can see um, right here. By the way, uh, these white dots—that is where your keyframe is. So we'll just go four frames again. I'm, I bet you it'll be way too fast, but let's have a look. So we have this jump, and then of course we could have have started by having nothing <laughs> of course it would have been way better whoa okay and then for instance we want them um, and then we want the text to disappear at some point so let's say we'll go one 
So when it's here, we want the text to disappear, and I just want to do that very easily. So uh, we have this uh, write-on effect here. So for instance, if you drag that, it will just disappear. So I'll put in a keyframe, and I'll go, let's go a couple of frames, and then let's just make it disappear. So we have this little effect. Like that. So this was just a basic look at Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 15 um, and how to do a very basic, extremely basic animation in Fusion. Next time we'll look into something a little bit more exciting, I do believe. So anyway, the way this works the best is if you have any suggestions of what kind of effect I should learn to make, please write it down in the comment sections below. So, until next time, I am the Fusion Noob. See you in the next video.